Wow. It's beautiful, <laughs> no? Yeah. Nice. What a beautiful place. Mind blowing, my kid. Ah. Huh? It looks so beautiful, just like you. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we are the first couple to come for the honeymoon immediately after our marriage, right? Why won't you say that? I was awaiting for it. But your father said it's not an auspicious day and stopped everything. Our first night was an utter waste. Don't be crazy, Michael. It's our family custom uh. to see all these auspicious things before starting a new life. So we can't change all these things. We have to follow all these rules. <laughs> Then only we can lead a smooth life, okay? If you say so, I'll agree to it, madam. That's it. <laughs> Hey Monica, what happened? Do I'm happy we got married. But I'm upset about one thing. Oh no. So you want to change the groom? <laughs> no, my girl. Since my marriage happened suddenly, I couldn't invite my close friends for my marriage. That hurts me a lot. I don't know what I'm going to say when I meet them. I'm worried about that. I feel very bad. Huh. Is that so? Once we are done with our honeymoon, you can have fun with your friends. Hey, you naughty boy. I meant dinner, madam. You rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, still how far we have to go? Mm, we almost there. Mm. You remember my friend Aaron? It's his uncle's guest house. You should have a look at his guest house, Monica. You'll be astonished. It's on a beautiful island. On an island? Yes, Monica. So nice, so romantic, you know. A guest house on an island? Yes, Monica. <laughs> Why are you scared? Hmm. <laughs> scared? Who me? <laughs> I'm Miss Brave. Yes, yes. <laughs> we'll see. You will see that. <laughs> Come, let's go. Hmm. Uh, uh. Shall I get on myself? Uh, no, wait, wait. Okay. Ah, uh, give me a hand. Watch your step. Mm. We're almost there. Mm -mm. It was my dream to come to such a place for our honeymoon, you know. <laughs> At last we've reached. Is this a place? Hmm. What's man? No one's here. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. It's like a ghost house. <laughs> hey Monica, look over there. Hey, it's a cart. It looks beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> What a creative idea. Aaron's uncle seems to be very creative. Welcome. Monica. Hmm? 
I'm really excited to get inside the room. Come on, walk fast. <laughs> We're going to have a good time. Wow. Just look at this place. Mm, very traditional. It doesn't look like a guest house. Mm. <laughs> very beautiful, Michael. Wouldn't work. Mm. Beautiful glass. Everything looks so amazing. <laughs> I really like this place, Michael. I really love this place. <laughs> Shall we go that side? Huh? Hey, have a look at this. <laughs> Where did this cook go now? He's not to be seen anywhere. Mm. <laughs> I feel like taking a swim. <laughs> Beautiful swimming pool. Yeah. Wow. Who's there? I am the watchman, Esther. Who is that, Michael? Aaron, sir, told me if you want anything, call me. Hmm. Hmm. Shit. What happened? Hey buddy, how are you man? Are you happy? I want to be happy. You're disturbing me. What do you want? Sorry buddy, I have an important message for you. You forgot about it, right? Just leave it. Don't disturb me. Don't be in a hurry. Hey, why man? What, what's so urgent now? It's totally a different matter, yeah. What do you mean? It's a capsule man. Very effective. Once you consume it, you can double your honeymoon effect. Hey, stop irritating me now. I don't need all that. Don't you have any brains? You're disturbing me. Hey, don't talk stupid. Do you remember Steve? I've already informed him. He's waiting for you across the river. Pick it up immediately. Don't miss it. Hey, stop blabbering. I can't go now. It is useful only for this time, Yar. Hey, Monica is waiting for me. Just hang up now. Please try to understand. I just started uh, making out time. with her. Don't waste my time. You're wasting your beautiful time. What? Oh, hey, please try to understand. She's staring at me. I gotta keep the Just phone. Listen to me. Go immediately and collect the package. Hey, hey, hey! I can't go at this time. Please. Shall I keep the phone? Hey, hey! Bye. Shit. How do I tell her now? Who is that, Michael? Uh, M Monica, uh, my friend Aaron. Uh, he sent a special gift for me. You know. Gift? Yeah. Uh, it's a uh, it. Uh, it's a very special gift. A special gift? Uh, 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 it's special. Uh, how do I tell you? Uh, uh, I'll go and get it. Please, Michael, tell me no. I'll go and get it, dear. Mm. Be a little patient. Can I please go? Please. At this time, that too leaving me alone? Oh, look at you! You're so restless. Hey. Please, dear. I'll be back soon. <laughs> Huh? Where's the boatman? I'll go look for him.
Hey, you! So! So, please take the boat. So, what is this? You have come so quickly? Uh, uh, I have to get something. Please take the boat. Hurry up. What is this, sir? You are not allowing me to boost peacefully. We'll be back soon. Come on. We'll go, sir. Start the boat. Swimming pool? What happened? It looks like you have a mini bar. Oh, you are inquiring about this. A customer like you gave it to me, sir. Sir, it is very super effective, sir. Oh, I can see that. It's me. Madam was screaming and she started to run. I came to inquire what happened, but she didn't open the door. So I came back. I am here to guard you without worrying. Go peacefully and take rest. Come on, let's go. It's cold outside. Hey, don't worry. Come, let's go. scared I am? Is it only us staying here? Or uh, is there any ghost over here? What are you saying, dear? You're overreacting, baby. I'm not overreacting, Michael. I was telling only the fact. <sighs> hey, please, Monica. It's our first night. Michael, please, <laughs> try to understand me. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Huh. Huh. I got the staff, but she's not letting me do anything. I was really looking forward to this. Why is she doing this to me? Oh God. This is the worst day of my life. My first night has gone for a complete toss. I shouldn't have got married at all. Michael? Michael?
Hey, good morning, darling. Good morning. Sorry, Michael. Why? Yesterday also we missed our first night. That's okay. But the way you screamed last night, I got scared. For God's sake, please don't do it again. Don't <laughs> play, Michael. There is something mysterious here. Hmm. I think it's following me. I'm so scared, Michael. <laughs> hey, I'm talking seriously. Why are you laughing? Huh. Hey, we are the new generation. You're assuming things and getting worried unnecessarily. Oh, go. Hey, come back. Monica. Oh, this girl. I'm not able to tell him what happened last night. How will I make him to understand? <laughs> uh, hey watchman, did you have your coffee? Hmm. Huh, absolutely no response. If this was my house, I would have had two cups of coffee. My bad luck. The cook is nowhere to be seen. Which cook? The cook who works here. When did you see him last? Yesterday. You were not there. He was the one who took us around and showed us the place. Hey, why are you getting so tensed up now? The cook you mentioned died. About six months ago. Uh, uh, no. Uh, uh, I clearly remember he was the one who showed us around. Stop blabbering. The cook didn't return even after three days after his relative's marriage. That poor fellow died in a boat capsize. But that cook was a good fellow. He was very fond of this place and the mistress. He was working here for the last 10 years. So, he comes and goes once in a while. You don't be afraid. He is a very good fellow. Don't inform madam about this. Poor little girl. She might get frightened. Getting scared for everything now. Something on the tree. Blit. Hey, what happened? On, on the chair. Tell me, dear. It's there. Blit. See there. Uh, where? You see there. Uh, where? Uh, There's nothing uh, over there. Uh, what are there, you saying? There. Uh, You're imagining things now. I'm not imagining things. You're not understanding me. Uh, Monica. Uh, There's nothing over there. Shit. Whatever I say, you don't believe me. Huh? Shirt, blood. The watchman was saying the cook passed away six months ago. Is this all true? No, no, it can't be. Monica, I'm going to take a bath now. Are you listening to me? This place has started freaking me out now. So frustrating. I wonder who it is now. Huh? So, take you. Breakfast. For your sake, I had informed the boatman. Thanks. Mm. This guy is really crazy. He scares me. Oh. Is this really necessary now? Hey, huh? what's this? Mm. I'm so hungry. What did he get? I'm hungry too, dear. Uh -huh. I know what you're hungry for. Hmm. 
Sit down, please. This is very hot. Have it. That watchman spoiled everything. Hmm. Come on, you too have it. <laughs> no, hmm. I'm not hungry. Why? You're not hungry? I'm hungry, but I don't want it. Hmm. I know everything. You don't try to play with me, okay? Mm -mm. You're tempting me a lot now, Monica. <laughs> uh, okay, you eat. I'll go get some water. Mm. Enough, enough, enough. Hey, hmm? I'm waiting for you inside. Come mm. fast, okay? <laughs> He's really crazy. Monica, what happened? Uh, this, this is my friend Lucy. Uh, she met with a car accident. I, I can't believe this, Michael. She has been driving since childhood, and she is a good driver too. Then how could she hit a tree? I can't believe this, Michael. And not only that, it happened only ten days back. She must have driven the car recklessly. She must have lost control. No, Michael. Though she is a rash driver, she has a control on it. I know that. Monica, relax. <laughs> You're getting worked up now, Monica. I can't, Michael. Monica, accidents happen. What do you mean accidents can happen? So do you think just I'm blabbering or what? Huh? Michael, somebody is following me. <laughs> Continuously is tapping on the door. <laughs> A blood stained shirt is hanging on the tree. Do you think all these are accidents? Monica, you're getting me wrong. Enough, Michael. Monica. Damn. <laughs> oh. Monica, do we have to leave now? Hmm. You told me you'll take me to the honeymoon, but this is a hell, Michael. <laughs> First, we have to leave this place immediately. I can't even stay a single minute oh. here. Make everything ready fast. Just listen to me for a minute, please. Michael, just listen to me first. <laughs> hey, this is not done. You can't just walk away like that. I'm your husband, damn it. You know why we came here, right? When I was seeing you, your father was against it. After marriage, you're creating problems. Don't bring my dad into this. Are you speaking like an educated man? Shit. Three years. Three years I fought with my parents and, and I got married to you. Do you think even I don't like to live happily with you? 
I can't tolerate this, Michael. I'm totally depressed, Michael. As long as we live here, I'm not going to allow this first night happen in this house here. Huh? Then why the hell did we get married? Watchman, we are going to leave now. Call the boatman immediately, okay? Hmm. He looks like a zombie to me. Scary guy. Hello? Yes, Mom. Monica, how are you, my dear? Hmm. How is Michael? We are fine, Mom. What happened, my dear? You sound so dull. Tell me, what's the matter? Tell me, Monica. Mom, do you know one thing, Mom? My friend Lucy, <laughs> she is no more, Mom. Lucy? No, my dear, it's Diana who died. What are you saying, Mom? Diana? Yes, my dear, it's Diana, not Lucy. <laughs> No, mom, it's Lucy who died. No, Monica. I met your friend Stella in the mall, you know. She told me that it was Diana who died. She also asked for your number. I didn't give it because I don't want it to be a disturbance for you. But I have her number, you know. Do you want me to give it to you? Uh, mom, give me her number, mom. Yeah, note it down. Mom, wait a minute. Uh. Hmm. Hello? Hi, Stella. It's me, Monica. What happened to Diana? Moni, uh, Diana, she committed suicide by falling into the sea. <gasps> I tried telling you about this many times, but couldn't. I met your mom in the mall today. That's when she told me. Due to your love problem, your father broke your mobile and not sending you to the office. And not only that, for the cause of your love, the hardships you have been taking. Money, there are lots of mysteries in Diana's death. A week back before the incident occurred, she told her parents that somebody is following her. She also thought it must be a ghost activity also. But her parents didn't believe her and they took her to the psychiatrist immediately. Poor thing, yeah. She died mysteriously. Last week, our Lucy, she also met with a car accident. She also said the same thing that somebody is following her to her family members. They also didn't believe her. Monica, did you notice one thing? Among your roommates, it's only you and Percy is alive now, Monica. Have you seen Percy then? No, Monica. I am in Bangalore now. I tried calling her. But of no use. Oh God. Moni, whatever it is, you just try to be careful. You have Percy's number, no? Just give me that. Note it down. Uh, uh, tell me. Nine triple eight. Yeah. Four double six. Four double six. Zero double five. Zero double five. Take care of you. Okay, okay, thank you, bye.
Hey, who are you talking to? What happened to Diana and Percy? Something wrong, Michael. The moment we came to this house, everything bad is happening. Whatever we see is haunting here. Me, Diana, Percy, and Lucy. We were close friends, you know that. Among us, two people are dead. I'm sorry. I'm so scared, Michael. I'm really frightened, Michael. I know. I understand. Give me a phone. I'll try. Did you get her? Not reach her. Oh God! Don't worry, Monica. No. Something might have happened to Percy too. No, no, I don't think so. Monica, we should leave this place. Come on, let's pack our bags. Seems you're ready. The yes. boat is under repair. Oh no! It'll get ready by morning. There is no other way to get to the other side. What are we supposed to do now? You have to stay overnight here. No other go. Michael, this is bad. Don't get tensed. What suitcase are you talking about? I don't see it. I saw it. What are you talking about? Watchman, how did you come inside? If the door is left open, can't I come inside? You may be afraid due to darkness. There is a torch inside the cupboard. If need be, take it out. Okay then. I wonder where the torch is. Uh, I think it's over here. Huh. Okay now, tell me where did you see that suitcase? Are you sure you saw it here, Monica? I'm telling you, no. I saw it here only. Then where did it go? I don't see it. Michael, there was a fingerprint on the glass frame too. 
Look, it's just dust. You're all imagining things. Uh, no, it was here only. Are you sure? Yes. I don't see anything. No, Michael. Fingerprint was. It was here only. It was here? like this. I don't see any fingerprints. I saw it. I remember I saw it. I can't believe all Please, this. Please, Michael, believe me. Stop blabbering now. Oh, oh God. Come. I think I have to take her to a good psychiatrist. Oh, oh God. Let's go, Monica. Why everything is happening to me? Don't worry. We're going to leave in the morning anyway. Come, let's go inside. See, I told you, there was nothing over there. You're getting worked up unnecessarily. I'm really hungry. Please make something to eat now. That blue shirt, that suitcase, how it came here. From the time we came here, she's acting strange. She said she saw a shirt on a tree, a figure through the window, a suitcase in the lawn. But I didn't see anything. Should I believe her? Is there a ghost over here? Maybe that dead cook is doing all this. Huh? I don't know. I'm confused. We should get out of here first thing in the morning. Yeah. Wait for me. Hey, nobody's there. Come fast. Careful, careful. Slowly, slowly. Yes, auntie. Okay. Have a safe journey. See you. Okay, auntie. Somebody is watching us. Hey, nobody is watching us here. Come on, fast. Hey, I'm scared here. Come on, girls, faster. Hey, watch out. Be careful. I'm so scared. Hey, come on, girls, make it fast.
happy now? We were happy three hours back, isn't it? Brazier? What will you do if you don't give it? You'll take it off? <laughs> you know about her, no? She's a very restless girl. If she wants, she will remove it also from you. So you better take it and give it. <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> hey, Monica is a very nice girl, yeah. My goodness. You exchange your braziers, is it? What do you think? If you allow Lucy, she'll expect husbands to, you hey, know? stop. I know about you. If I start pulling your leg, you'll not tolerate it. Mind you, don't play with me. Okay, okay, okay. Just for the sake of our brand, don't spoil our own reputations. Come on, girls. <laughs> okay, let me go and pack. Hey, yeah. Diana. Why she's always thinking about packing? <laughs> hey, she's a village girl, yeah. Oh God, does she look like a girl who's working for a software company? She just waits for a holiday to pack her bags and go to a native place. Oh my goodness! Hey, hmm? what all you know about me? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, I have to go to my native. It's been three months since I saw my parents. Hey, I have not seen my parents for a year. I never felt like you. Hmm. You must go for dating. Enjoy a life with full swing. Why bring parents in this thing? <laughs> oh my goodness! Hey, it's no use talking to you all. <laughs> sir, 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 please, please leave me, sir. Please leave me, sir. Everyone are looking at me, sir. Please hey, leave me, sir. What good name you have, man? If I give you one <laughs> thrash, you'll go and fall. <laughs> Whom are you asking this question? Hey, I've been working in the shop for 10 years, man. You know what my salary was? 5 rupees a month. After that hardship, I'm presently owning this shop. I'm earning, I'm eating. Huh? Why should I pay you insurance? Am I a friend or relative to you to pay insurance? Stupid fellow, stupid fellow. So why are you getting angry on me like this, sir? What wrong did I do to you, sir? What is the big use of the money after my death, my dear boy? Sir, you need to have some responsibility on you, sir. Your family will be benefited after your death, sir. Only today morning, I prayed God that I should live hale and healthy for 100 years. And you keep on talking about death, man. What is so happy about my death to you? You know one thing, I have three daughters to get married, man. <laughs> so imagine if you are dead, hey, sir. Again and again, you're talking oh, about oh, death, oh, man. Oh, oh. I'll ring the death bell for you, man. Hey, hey, no, 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 hey. sir, no, sir. Never seen get such an idiot like this. fellow. Hey, hey, baby, how are you? Yeah, I'm very fine. Why don't hey, you give me a kiss? That? Hey, come on, yeah. Hey, tell hey, no. come with me. No, 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 Please, no. I can't come with you. I'm very scared. Why don't you make it tomorrow evening, man? Mm, let hey, me who see. she talking I'll try to? to come. Hey, Dinah, who is it? Okay, listen, my friends have come. I'm just cutting it now. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Hey, who is the victim today? Uh, Hey, he's my old boyfriend, girls. He's just crazy to take me to the beach, you know. Okay, just leave it. As usual, I just closed my eyes and dialed one number. You know who I got? It was an old man. What? Old man? <laughs> <laughs> you just listen. The way 
the old man was talking my mobile battery itself was down you know <laughs> i just asked for a policy i don't know why is he getting so angry like this anyo let's see once again if i get a policy within 6 months i will be promoted as an area sales manager that was a commitment given by rm but if it goes like this i doubt i will be getting that particular position anyo let's see oh my goodness it's 5 o'clock now 6 o'clock is an appointment that was given by madam now i should somehow make it up i have to go and make myself fresh now and then proceed that's right Hey, pour me little more now. They started it. Come on, girls. Hmm. Hmm. Cheers. Hey, I forgot to tell one thing. I dialed a number by mistake. A guy got trapped. He's an insurance agent. Oh, poor guy. He was forcing me very much to take one policy girls and he also sounded very young you know that i am a light hearted girl i told him to come home <laughs> is he coming here yes do you have any sense why is he coming here you can have all your fun outside the house eh hey, jay shatya mautya it's been long since we have done some ragging okay what time is that guy coming 6 o'clock <laughs> 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 okay, why is this girl getting danced up now? This must be that guy only. Is Lucy here? Come in. Okay. Hello insurance I am Lucy Take your seat huh. shit huh. Sit down sir Hmm Ma'am I think you are aware about this insurance policy right As of date there are a lot of insurance company that have existed now but unlike other insurance company we have bought some new new schemes and policies are adopted oh. ma'am If you see uh, there are a lot of new new things really that have been good. coming in the market For example it's like uh, really for smart. an age criteria it starts from 6 to 60 years uh, scheme ma'am Particularly there are a lot of new new schemes hmm. for this working women ma'am Hope it will be very useful for you ma'am hmm. mm. Have Hey no thanks ma'am Just for a company. Please, ma'am, don't force Come me, ma'am. Come on, just try it. I'm not used to it, ma'am. Hey, just try it. Please, please. In her please. office, she's going to apply policy for 500 people. You don't want? Yeah, yeah, I need it. drink no ma'am i'm not used to it ma'am mm, okay hmm madam today you are really trapped with us hmm. hey have pepsi oh oh thank It's you okay. ma'am now i shall explain about your uh, new policy ma'am one second If you have this in one gulp, I'll give you five hundred policies. Sure, ma'am. Okay, drink it. When 
can we sign the policy, ma'am? You mean policy? Yes, ma'am. We will sign that. Thanks a lot, ma'am. No, leave me, ma'am. Hey, I can't on. dance, ma'am. I'm totally tired. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. No, please leave me. Come on. Oh, oh. Come on, hey, get up. What happened? Hey, what happened? Tell me. Come on. Hey, what happened? Get up. Hey, get up, man. Come on, get up. What's it? That is. Uh, what happened? That is. Uh, huh? you, you see. What uh, happened? No, just uh, come and have it. Just come and see. What? What happened? <laughs> Goodness! What did you do to him? Hey, hold careful! Like, hold Be careful! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful! Okay, close it fast. Man. Huh? My kid. Uh, uh, blood. Blood. Watchman's badge. What, Michael? Watchman. See there. The recent launch of Insa satellite has been completed successfully and Prime Minister has congratulated everyone for their efforts. Now on the breaking news, a software engineer was being murdered and been put into a lake nearby.
The deceased has been identified as Percy. She is the daughter of Aston Commissioner. A special investigation has already been debuted in this particular case. Michael! Oh. Nowadays, it's becoming a new trend in the IT industry. The recent incidents pertaining to murder has affected the IT women a lot. Police people have deputed a special force in this particular case to nab the culprit as soon as possible. Definitely, it will kill me also. The entire city for the safety of the women. Can't we police have been put in several place? places. More updates of Percy will be coming very shortly. Now, all reports the match between India and Shit! What happened, my Wait! Hey! Who's there? Hey! Watchman informed me everything over phone. Only when I went to the police station to complain, I saw Monica's photo there. Police are investigating very seriously. That is when I knew something fishy was going on. Giving them the details, I brought the police here. I tried getting you over the phone, but couldn't reach you. When I tried calling Watchman, the phone kept on ringing. Nobody to pick up. Relax, Michael. Nothing to worry. Do you think if we kill people like this, do you think we will not find it out? Hey you! 
Stupid. We are our cops, man. We will finish you. I know. I know you will track me. If I am dead, it would have been six months back. My family is depending on me, sir. Now they are left on the streets, sir. After all, I am the only son, sir. Gangsters <laughs> like me have ruined their own life, sir. We have our own visions and ambitions in life. To struggle and overcome and come out of life is strong, sir. Are they women? No, they are evils. Evils. Just because working in an IT industry and earning a handful of money, have they forgotten about our tradition? Having a good career is not enough, sir. Their character should be good. Nowadays, women are having a tough competition against men. They don't know for what all things they need to compete with men for. Like all other men, they are smoking, drinking, ragging. Shit, shit. I don't know how all to name it, sir. Nowadays, they started to rape even men. Nowadays, people who are committing mistakes are not the real culprits. The real culprit is the one who supports them. Rape. It's common for both men and women, sir. To protect it, women have more responsibility than men. That's our culture, sir. The people who mess with it, I kill them with my own hands, sir. Going to leave anyone. I will kill them. Kill them all. Kill them. Kill them all. Oh. 